Rob Gordon here. These are my records. Currently organized, not alphabetically, not chronologically, but wait for it. Autobiographically. Yup, the order in which they are purchased. So way over there is middle school, that section there is college, and this wall here is Laura. My life in vinyl. I got everything I need here. High Fidelity has always been one of my top five favorite movies, to be honest. Uh, when I saw it, it just, I mean, I'm the kind of guy who, who lives and breathes music, and I, when I first saw the movie, I, it just, it resonated with me, and I immediately went and read the book, and I felt like someone had actually written an autobiography about me. Uh, and, and, and I just, I always had the idea of adapting it into a play myself, and then when I heard that the Players Club was taking submissions, I went out looking, and, and I just found out that someone had already done it. And not only had they done it, but they'd made a musical, and it had been on Broadway for, you know, a, a week or two. Uh, and, but, and, I, and I read it, I read the script, I listened to the music, and it was really good. I, I couldn't help but do it. Um, and I, I was like, we've got the people in this school who can, who can, who can really bring good talent to it. We've got a, a, you know, pe good people who can be in the band for it. It's just like, why not do this show? Always been your friend, though. has been the fact that it is such a cohesive project. I mean, I am working with everyone as a student, of course, but it's just the, the number of students you're working with. I mean, I, a big cast isn't a problem, but before this I was doing brown bag shows, and in the brown bag, you know, directors do kind of all the work, but now I've got a stage manager and a five-person production team and crew and, uh, you know, a stage... It's, it's just, uh, I've never had to delegate before, and so it's definitely been a different experience, um, but it's good. It's, it's, it's not bad, it's just different. It's a different way to work. Um, I'd say it's closer to what you'd see in the professional world as far as how you work with people and stuff. So it's a good experience. I'm gonna lay it all on the line Get out from under this bushel and shine I've got music to make and finally it will be heard I was hiding myself, that was wrong The world's gone without me for far too long Hey, complain, get out of my way Hey, 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 hey I've got a one percent chance of success A one percent chance, maybe less I will be known as royal rock highness Facing the odds at a hundred to one But that's so bad coming along much faster than I've ever come along in a uh, in a student production uh, where everyone is very like he says cohesive and uh, the the planning has been uh, immaculate it really uh, we've developed everything at uh, at an incredible pace and people really focus um, a lot because we have such a great uh, a great crew yeah. you know say anything about the list Laura that tore my heart out. These are the ones that gave me a life. You might squeeze into the top ten, Laura, but you're nowhere near the top five. These are the girls who got in early. Scarred me for a life, I have no doubt. But it's you're too late, late now, you don't break that. Ah, that kind of clown.
mostly because everyone is so passionate about the project. It's not just me and it's not just the production team, but all the actors. I mean, you can really tell that all the actors are really excited to be doing this. And there's a real strong sense of family between all of the actors, which I've really never seen in any show I've done before, where you, you see all of the actors in a, a big show like this, like, getting along so strongly and all having this, this drive uh, to, to just, like, pushing them to excel and really commit to the project. And that has made it uh, really exciting. It, it doesn't, it's, it's never, never feels like work. It, it's definitely just... Feels like fun. Sometimes all you need is the sliver of hope and the way to succeed, or at least the door's open. But what seemed impossible is there in your reach. You're riding the wave, or at least on the beach. Parts of rehearsal was we were actually doing a line through at Stephen's apartment, and we were singing 9% chance, and right as we were saying one of the really uplifting uh, lines or uh, choruses or something, the sun came out just brilliantly. It had been a foggy, foggy day, and right as everyone is just so happy about uh, their situation in the play at that point, um, the sun just bursts through the, uh, the window, and it was just kind of, kind of an amazing moment for for all of us. We, we all it. just busted out laughing. It was cool. God in, wants you to see High Fidelity Musical. I always dream someday I'd have this wonderful career. I went where the music took me. And oh God, it took me here. And they'll write it on my tombstone. Right beside Owner went from clerk to owner of the last real record store on 